What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 3 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke Let's Play. Long title, I apologize guys, I don't know how to say it any other way. But this is Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized, so every Pokemon encounter we get in the game is going to be completely random. Any kind of Pokemon we want, and it's a Nuzlocke. So basically we cannot let our Pokemon die. If we do, they are gone. They're fainted, and that means it's all over. Uh, we also have rules where we can only catch one Pokemon of each, uh, only one Pokemon per route. And uh, we have to nickname every Pokemon we get, that way there's a larger emotional connection to the Pokemon if it were to pass away and we'd have to release it. So guys, I'm having a lot of fun here. We actually just leveled up a lot of our Pokemon to 15. We kept a couple because our Twitch audience were like resident sleeper, just like flying through. They were just like, this is exhausting. So I was like, you know what guys, you're right, so let's continue on with episode 3. So guys, that's where we're going to go. We have to go against Brock and get our way to Mount Moon, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get right into this. Alright everybody, here we go, Pewter City, let us do this. We are should be able to easily defeat Brock. You know, I, I, I went above and beyond training my Pokemon just to make sure we can't lose this Nuzlocke. This is not going to happen, we ain't going to lose. Even if they get a crit, there's no way that they're going to take us out. There's no way. There's no way. Alright, so let us see which Pokemon we have in front. We got uh, Moustache. Okay, so Moustache should be pretty good. Alright, stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Oh no. Oh no, 10,000 light years. Alright. Camper Liam sent out Shepard. Alright, that's good for us. Torkoal can do some heavy work here. Alright. Goes for knockoff. Critical hit. See, we're super strong. And another reason why we're so strong is because we've been fighting a lot of Pokemon that give HP, special defense, and defense EVs. So it's kind of like just even securing us even more. This guy's got a Groudon! What the heck, man? It's level 11. If I what is you? I fly. Thank you so much, Pizza Hut 233 for the follow. Welcome to the Mewtwo crew. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm actually going to switch into Sephiroth. Goes for Mudshot, we predicted the Mudshot, that's the whole reason we switched into our Sephiroth. It's level 15, guys, look at how awesome he is. He's gonna go for the Water Gun. I always thought when Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire came out that Groudon was actually uh, Ground and Fire. Uh, but apparently he's only Ground, but I feel like he definitely should have been Ground Fire. But, um... And then Kyogre should have been, like, Water... I don't know, Water... Ice, maybe, I don't know. Definitely should have been something else because Groudon looks like a fire type. Because he's all red, but he's only ground. Alright, beautiful. Critical hit. Here we go, here we go. So thank you everybody for coming in. What's up? How y'all doing? Top of the morning to you. Top of the evening, top of the afternoon, wherever it is you guys are in the world. Alright, so Sephiroth was easily able, like a Wingull versus a Groudon, come on, that's a, that's an easy matchup right there. <laughs> Sephiroth gained 256, and we've defeated Camper Liam. Darn, light years isn't time, it measures distance. You are right. So let's continue on against Mr. Brock. So, you're here, I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha, <laughs> you're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. He said they're all rock type Pokemon. If I don't see a rock Pokemon, I'm suing Nintendo. I'm gonna be like, look at Nintendo, look what happened. Hound Doom, that's not a rock type Pokemon. Instant suing. <laughs> Alright, Moustache. We're gonna switch into, um. I guess we can switch into Emma. goes for how increasing his attack luckily we are super super strong when it comes to defense so hopefully he doesn't take us out here with any move that he has goes for ember doesn't do much damage at all all right beauty so hound demon is easily taken out 
Moustache gained 261 experience for level 14, Pog Champ. Learn smoke screen, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Goes into Whalmer, so Whalmer, what do we have for Whalmer? I guess we'll just go into Ratata. So he had a he had Hound Doom and a Whalmer. I don't see any rock type, so Nintendo, you're getting an email from me. I'm gonna be like, what happened here? I'm just teasing. Alright, so we're going to Pound. Goes into Water Gun. How much damage is this gonna do? I think we should easily be able to take out this Whalmer. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to take this Whalmer out pretty simply. Pretty simply, guys. Goes for the water gun. That's gonna be the first badge for us. Alright. So not bad, not bad. A little intense though, like we did actually have a challenge. Even though our Pokemon were all level 15, we still had quite the fight here. Alright, Rat -ta 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 grew to level 15. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Alright. Oh, I should have done TM's uh, Nuzlocke, too. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Alright. Wait, take this with you as well. So, 39. A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM features the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use in this game. So when you use one, pick them Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tome. Hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now what's even more awesome about this next part that we're going to get is the speed that we can give you guys this game. Because we're going to be getting some Nikes or New Balance or Sockneys or whatever kind of shoes you guys like to wear. I have a pair of Sockneys but I used to wear New Balance all the time. So we go through here, and we just talk to this guy. Oh, Jerrion, I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. The running shoes, ha ha. All right, press the B button to run, but only when there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab, bye-bye. All right, not too shabby. Now I'm gonna actually run over to, oh, there's a letter attached. Dear Jerrion, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved trainer. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up, from mom. Oh. Alright, so let's go to the Pokemon Mart. I need to pick up some potions. I need to pick up some Pokeballs. Uh, how much money do we have? Alright, we have a decent amount of money. We have five Pokeballs. Let's buy... five more. Because we'll be able to catch uh, Pokemon in Mount Moon, and we'll also be able to catch Pokemon in uh, the patches of grass heading towards Mount Moon. And hopefully we can find something better than our Wingle. <laughs> Offense to Wingle or Sephiroth or anything, but I, I would prefer a better. Like basically, we're, you're going to see a lot of swapping out Pokemon. It's going to be like the actual Pokemon anime. All right, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, please. If I have a chance to name uh, catch a Mill Tank, name it Memories. Why would I call it Memories? What's the story behind that? What's the story behind naming a Mill Tank Memories? All right, here we go. Now we can run. It's so exciting. Alright, so let's see what Pokemon we should put in the front. Yep, I guess we can keep Moustache out in front. Anything down here? Nope. I should have known that actually. Alright, let's see, what do you got? Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Oh, you're right, I looked at you, my bad. My apologies, don't call the cops on me. It's ridiculous. Alright, she's got a Slowking. Whoa. Level 9 Slowking. I call hacks. I call hacks. Alright, not too shabby. Slow can use tackle. Didn't do anything to us because we are bustedly strong. Here we go. Slow can flinched. Nice. Alright, Emma doing work. Emma doing work. Alright, what do you got for us? It's about to use cast form. I'll stay into Emma. Alright, going to the headbutt here. Alright, misses the tackle. So Emma literally just stomps this entire, entire way through. She's just going to mess up people. 
As long as you don't run into a fighting type. We've defeated the last Janus. You're mean. What do you mean I'm mean? You're mean. I'm trying to take up my Agron. Alright. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. How the heck did you get here already? What the heck? What the heck? Alright, what do you got for me? You got a Diglett. Alright, Diglett, Pog, Champ for Mr. Crow. Alright, we'll go for Ember. He goes for Scratch. Again, like, we're super, super tanky. Torkoal is a good fire type Pokemon because he's able to. Oh no! Ground is not good against us. Oh, it was a, that was a critical hit? What the heck? Even if he got like 9 with a critical hit, it wouldn't have killed me. Uh, WTF, I can find PC builds that are much better than the Alien PC, but the Alienware PC is 9,000 and the build is... Yeah, there's, there's no sense in the world to ever buy a pre-built PC. There's no sense ever. You want to build your own PC, because you'll cut the price in a, at least half. Yeah, Alienware are great computers, but just cost way, 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 way too much for what they're worth. Way too much. Same with Max, guys. Max costs way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Like, I'm streaming on a computer that cost me maybe $800 Canadian, which is like $600 American. And it's decent quality. I'm able to stream, upload, um, do everything I want. I can play all the latest games. I, I, everything, this computer was $600 American, guys. Like, come on. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a computer. Uh, and I've been stream I've had this computer for four years. And I'm, it's a laptop. Guys, it's a laptop. I'm streaming on a laptop, and I'm recording on a laptop, I'm uploading on a laptop, I'm rendering videos on a laptop. I have my two, my, my monitors connected to the laptop. It's... There's no need for those kind of laptops. Like, the next time I buy a new computer, I'm probably gonna spend at least two grand on it, because that computer is gonna last me, like, ten years. All I have to do is constantly keep replacing parts. This is just a laptop. I don't even have a PC. I don't need one right now. Why would I build a PC when I don't need it? There's so much more money you guys can uh, put towards for other things. If you had two grand right now, I would say spend a thousand of it on a computer and save the rest. Invest the rest of it into like medicinal marijuana stocks in Canada or something. I'm telling you guys, it's just that computers are very easy now. They're not like they used to be. Computers are not as expensive and as not not as complicated as they used to be. Here we go. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Have I ever built a PC? I've probably built 30 PCs in my day. Not for myself though. At college, for people, for friends. I built computers for the studio. Like I I built computers all the time. I have I have three desktops at my house that I built for college. I've taken apart computers, put them back together. I've taken brand new equipment, put it together. Uh oh. Why did I switch into Emma? Oh, that doesn't do anything. A PC, not a laptop. I built both. I built this laptop. I built PCs. It's it's very simple, especially when you go to college. Like I went to university for video game development and entrepreneurship, and then I went to college for computer programming and IT. And in that IT course, we had labs where we'd literally build computers like every other week. They'd be like, here's a computer, take it apart, um, tell me what is wrong with this piece, uh, diagnose the issue, and put it back together and make sure that it's working. What is going on in Josh the Speeding Eye? Alright, I totally missed what Pokemon he was going to send out, but it doesn't matter. We'll go into a rat -ta 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 -ta. Hey, what is going on, Sir UK? How are you doing? Welcome back. How much money do you have at Defiance? Alright. So Mew is doing heavy work here. Alright. Hey, what are you doing on your old account, Sir UK? What the heck are you doing? Playing on his old account. What a weirdo. Alright. I don't believe it. I beat the guy with shorts, guys. He can't believe it. Here we go. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Alright, let's do it. Sends out Gyarados. If only we had an electric type Pokemon. 
Haha, Intimidate doesn't work on me because I have white smoke. Uh, let's go into Defiance. Alright, Gyarados is going to go for Thrash. Oh, you're logged onto your phone. I see, I see. Uh, in college, can I take that building uh, PC building course in the side and major in pre-med? Probably. I'm not sure how American uh, how America college and university works. Because you want to major in pre-med. Yeah, I'm sure you could take like you could take a side course in computer systems or something. Thank you, Sona. Sinister Mist for the follow. Welcome to the Mewtwo crew. Is Crow still here? It's been quiet. True, it has been quiet. Uh, wait, I thought this was for Pokemon Sun. Uh, we, we do Pokemon giveaways for Pokemon Sun and Moon all the time on our stream, so if you're watching our stream and we're doing a giveaway, then we'll be giving you Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon. But uh, because there's no... Um, because there's no... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, game uh, title in Twitch for the game that we're playing, we just go to the generic Pokemon. Alright. Confirmed can use Typhlosion and Ranked. Nice, nice. Level 9 Gyarados low. Man, it was nice that we just hit all five of those arm thrusts. Oh, jeez. Uh, do you have a shiny... Uh, yes, I actually do have one of those. <laughs> so we'll, what we'll do is we'll do a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway when we're at 20 viewers in the channel. Um, we're very close, so once we get 20 viewers, um, then we'll, we'll do a giveaway. And again, guys, for every person that you bring into the stream that follows, we will do, uh, we will give you guys, uh, some Pokemon or some Toronto Games Bucks. Going into Kecleon, I am going to, uh, stay into this guy. Anything new while I was gone? Um, not too, too much. We just trained a lot of our Pokemon, and, uh, we're just doing episode 3 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke. <laughs> change to the fighting type. Uh, Baka uh, sorry, Baka Yaro is just so busted. Alright. Uh, to trade in that game, Josh, you have to click X on your 3DS and then go to the Festival Plaza. And then once you get to the Festival Plaza, you want to go to the internet Wi-Fi symbol, connect to the internet, and then you can then uh, do Link Battle, Link Trade, um, GTS Battle, GTS Trade, and then there's another option there, but I can't remember what it is. But that's how you get in. Uh, well, I won't win, win the giveaway. Well, you won't win the giveaway if you tell yourself you won't win the giveaway. Because what you focus on expands. How long are you streaming today? Uh, we've been streaming since 11, so it's been 3 hours. Uh, probably stream till about... Uh, probably episode 5. So 2 more episodes here, and then I'm going to relax. And I'm going to... Actually, I have been working on my stream for 6 days straight, guys. You might be like, what the heck? Why so long? Because... Hey, you're not wearing... Oh, excuse me, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. Wait, 11, 12, 12 to 1. Or, sorry, no, 2 hours, 2 hours, not 3. Not 3. Sorry, sorry. You're right, you're right, my bad, my bad. 3 hours. Or 2 hours. So I'll probably stream till about 3 o'clock, so that's about 4 hours. Weekends I don't normally stream, but I'm just streaming because I'm, I want to see you guys. I want to I play with you guys. Uh, when are you ending today? Um, probably like, yeah, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so about an hour and a half or an hour and 50 minutes or so. Alright. Alright, so we were able to take out Beldum easy peasy. Level 16, Pog Champ? I stream six hours every day, like Monday through Friday, but weekends I kind of just gonna give it a little break and start editing more content. So guys, for YouTube, I'll be right back. I gotta go heal my Pokemon. We'll see you in just one second. All right, everybody, we're back from the Pokemon Center, and now let us check out our team real quick. Uh, we're gonna throw Moustache over here and start to train. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's fight you. That look you gave me—it's so intriguing. Just intriguing. Alright, let's see what we got here. Last Sally's got a Pidgeotto. Not too bad for a Pokemon if I ever say so. Or if I do say so myself. Alright. Go for Pound. Goes for Sand Attack. 
rat -tat 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 has the accuracy to fell. But we're still able to get that pound in there. Alright. Level 16. There we go. Gonna go in for a wish cash. What the heck? Who uses wish cash? Can't even catch this thing with a master ball. So it all boils down to this! Master ball! Go! Wish cash! Come on! Why'd you do that? Goes for mud slap. Man, these guys like to lower my accuracy. What the heck? Come on, Mew. Oh no. Goes for water sport. Lowering electricity type moves. Or fire, I think. Yeah, fire, sorry. I was thinking of, um, what's the one that lowers electricity? Um, mud sport. That was water sport. This doesn't make sense. Like, when mud sport is like a ground or a rock type Pokemon, and then, yeah, I don't know. Anyways. You gotta get that pound in there. Tofu heard me. Alright. Come on, you. Just one more pound. Oh, come on. Oh, right. My parents are making me shovel the snow. Oh, you poor thing. Alright, we got the pound in there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. I'm really excited for these Nuzlocks and randomized because I want to see what Pokemon we can catch in each thing. Uh, can one of you guys explain how to send a message on Twitch or tell Pizza Hut to join the Discord for his free Pokemon? We did a we did a free uh, Pokemon giveaway uh, for my YouTube chat, or uh, for my YouTube audience, I should say. So that's why uh, I'm just kind of saying things. I don't know how long shoveling will take. I'll be back when I'm done. No problem, man. I live in Canada, so I know what shoveling snow is like. It's a it's just awful. <laughs> it's just the worst. All right, Tyrogue, we are gonna switch into. Sephiroth! Bum 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 Sephiroth! Alright. Go for tackle. We're gonna go for the wing attack. Alright. Good job. Super effective. Easy peasy. Alright. Sephiroth gaining some unbelievable experience. Goes into Breloom. I'm actually gonna stay into Sephiroth. This is perfect. This guy had a fighting and a fighting of grass. So we're gonna go for that wing attack. Easy work of the Breloom. I'm really interested in seeing what the Jigglypuff uh, trainer has. She only gets one Pokemon. Let's see if it's better than her Jigglypuff. Alright, we've defeated Buttcatcher James. Done like dinner. You better believe it. Alright, and the Jigglypuff trainer has. Eek! Did you touch me? You came to me, man. What the heck? What the heck, man? Alright. And she's got an egg run. Alrighty. I know what to do with this guy. I know exactly what to do. It's time to send out Bakayaro! Bakayaro! Alright. Goes for the Metal Claw. Not too much damage. He increases his attack, though. So we're gonna have to go for the Arm Thrust. Boom. And Agron is out of here. So she had the same starter that I had. I don't think that's fair. I think I should have the only Agron in the game. It's my Agron, guys. No one else's. Hm. Alright, Bakayaru gained 307 experience. Easy peasy. Player defeated. Last Robin. That's it. That's all. Alright, guys. So let's check out what Pokemon we can catch in this patch of grass. Here we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> A wish cash? Come on, man. You can't even catch this thing with Master Ball, man. So it all boils down to this! Alright, let's go for a tackle. Hopefully we don't take it out. Oh, wow. This thing's tanky. Alright. I'm gonna go for two Tail Whips to lower its defense. Because I think... Ah, uh, should I... I think two Tail Whips should be okay. Alright, um... Actually, no, I'm just gonna go for the tackle. We're just gonna do one tail whip. Oh, -ho -ho -ho. <laughs> oh, champ! Okay, let's see if we can catch this beautiful wish cache. We found a wish cache in the grass. Just so you guys know, we caught a wish cache in the grass. <laughs> well, we haven't caught it yet, but positive thinking, guys. Positive thinking. Alright. Going for the Pokeball. 
going for the Pokeball, guys. One shake, two shake, three shake. Hey, we got it! Wish Cash is now ours. Ha ha ha. And you guys know what that means. We'll be right back. We gotta allow our Twitch chat to do the giveaway and see who can name this Wish Cash. All right, everybody, we are back, and congratulations to Lamborghini on Legs for winning the giveaway. He wants to name this Pork Face. Yep. That's what he wants to name it, and you know what? You can't deny the name of your viewers, so Porkface was transferred to someone's PC. It was placed in box one. So that is the Pokemon we have to catch in here, and I think, guys, we definitely might be over time for this episode, but it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. We got a lot done. You're not going to fight me, are you? Nope, you're not going to fight me either, right? And I think there's a escape rope here. Oh, no, there's something right there. A Persim Berry. But I know one of these rocks has something on it. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But I thought one of these rocks had an escape rope. Maybe I'm just wrong. I'm wrong, guys. I'm wrong. Alright. Alright, guys. So that is going to be episode 3. I want to thank you guys all so much for coming out and checking things here. Um, like the video if you like what you saw. Comment in the section below uh, how you're liking this Let's Play, guys. This one's pretty cool. I really do like uh, the randomized Nuzlocke. It's definitely something interesting and unique that we haven't done before. So this is definitely really cool for you guys. I'm going to be starting to post probably two to three episodes of uh, on our YouTube channel every single day. That way we can kind of get some more content out there for you guys. So that way if you're done watching one episode, you can watch a different series. You can watch a different Let's Play. You can see what we did in all different kinds of Pokemon games we've been playing. But anyways, I want to thank you all so much for coming out. We will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, take care, everybody.